Ladies and gentlemen, Juno has the most difficult shot in the history of golf. He must sink this shot from 110 yards to win the championship. He steps up to the ball. The crowd is hushed in anticipation. Can he make this miracle shot? And he swings. More! Watch your hands! More! It's a projectile motion problem where a golfer wants to drive it a certain distance. You go to the golf course and you have uh, your range. Let's uh, arbitrarily say it's 283 meters. And you select different clubs and the angle on the club that uh, the club is designed for determines the launch angle. So if you figure you got a club that produces a 15 degree loft, the question becomes what velocity is needed with a given angle to achieve the desired range. And you have an equation for range. And I think uh, on the next YouTube presentation I will derive this equation for you. But I'm just going to give it here because in class I've derived it already range is equal to velocity initial squared times the sine of 2 theta divided by g. And so the question becomes can you solve the algebra for, uh, for that? And so it would be uh, rg, always get rid of the divided by, is equal to velocity initial squared sine 2 theta and then it uh, looks like if you divide both sides by sine of 2 theta so you then get uh, rg divided by the sine of 2 theta that's equal to velocity initial squared and uh, I think if you take the square root of that that will get you the problem with that simple bit of knowledge you can become a successful golfer in real golf you hit the ball and it's a projectile motion problem and it hits the ground and it rolls and you really try to get it to roll for a while and there's a, a certain amount of strategy involved in that so the projectile problem takes into account just the flight in the air in golfing I guess the chipping would be closer to the projectile problem in chipping you really kinda you're trying to get it close to the pin the little flag up there the hole. And what you want to do is chip it and get it to chunk and chunk chunk. And so you're not really looking for a lot of roll for most of your chipping. If you're within a range, you just kind of want to get it real close. And uh, so that becomes more of a projectile problem. So there you go. Find your center. Hear nothing. Feel nothing. That was kind of incredible, sir. You tried, Danny. Pardon me? Pardon you?